Good evening. Welcome to Gateway Technical College's commencement ceremony. For the safety and comfort of our graduates and guests, we ask that you please refrain from approaching the stage during the conferring of the diplomas. You will have ample opportunity after the ceremony to take pictures of your graduate on the stage. Fire code regulations prohibit the blocking of exits, so we ask that you please stay clear of all doors and exits. Following this evening's ceremony, graduates, guests, and staff are invited to the president's reception at UW Parkside's main place, which is just north of this building. We do ask also that all guests remain in their seats during the completion of the recessional at the end of the ceremony. I, I Robert Formanick, hereby open the commencement exercises of Gateway Technical College. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I ask that you please rise and join with Jacqueline Morris for the singing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held as the twilight Last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, oh, the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare the. Please be seated. At this time, I am pleased to introduce the President and Chief Executive Officer of Gateway Technical College, Dr. Brian Albrecht. Thank you, AJ. And thank you, Jacqueline. What a beautiful rendition of our national anthem. So I am here tonight to help us all celebrate the great accomplishments of our graduates. So let me first start out by saying welcome Gateway Technical College graduates 2016. Congratulations. It's an honor to be with you this evening as we affirm our confidence in you through this commencement ceremony. On behalf of the Gateway Technical College Board of Trustees, our administration, our faculty, our staff, we share a heartfelt congratulations to each of you. Your dedication and commitment to accomplish a lifelong goal of achieving a college degree has been reached. I know that you have not been on this journey alone. Tonight we welcome your family, your friends, and special guests who are here to celebrate this wonderful accomplishments. Let's all give them a big round of applause. With the support of the faculty, the professional staff, your academic advisors, administrators, you have navigated through a pathway that will lead you to the opportunity and career success. Your journey at Gateway Technical College is not over. As you move on to a, to a career, we hope that you will stay close to our college and become a part of the Gateway community. Our Gateway community has been an important part of Southeast Wisconsin for over 105 years, and we're proud that you are a part of our Gateway Alumni Association. If you would help me in welcoming our guest on the stage this evening, Dr. Morna Foy, Wisconsin Technical College System State President. Welcome, Morna. Our commencement speaker, Mr. Jim Hawkins, CEO and owner of Kenall Manufacturing. Welcome, Jim. Zena Haywood, Executive Vice President and Provost for Gateway Technical College. Welcome, Zena. 
and the trustees of the Gateway Board of Directors, Gary Olson, Chairperson, Bill Duncan, Vice Chairperson, Susan Greenfield, Secretary, Dr. Beth Ormseth, Roger Zacharias, and Pamela Zenner-Richards. Thank you all very much for your service to our college. Our community values your leadership. It's not often that we have the state system president with us at our commencement ceremony. She's here to share her perspective on the importance of technical education and the degrees that, degrees that you've just achieved. Please help me welcome Dr. Morna Foy. Good evening, Gateway. Now, uh, President Albrecht told me that this was a rowdy crowd tonight. That, that sounds very polite and very quiet. You're done, you're done, you're graduating. Good evening. I wanna thank you for inviting me to join you in your celebration. I wanna welcome all the parents and the husbands and wives and kids and friends, family, state representatives that we have here with us tonight, community leaders, business leaders, the whole Gateway community crowd is here to support you guys. You should thank them for that. I know that Gateway Technical College is a special place. I've been here myself several times for some really incredible community uh, events, but I know that you all know that too. Each one of you has found a friend here, a mentor, a future colleague, somebody that has shown you opportunity and helped you take advantage of it along the way. But I also know that you're the ones that made the choice. You're the ones that were brave enough to sign up, to enroll, to do the work that it takes to complete the program and to be here tonight. From what uh, President Albrecht and uh, my friends here at Gateway tell me, you guys have also done a few other things along the way. In addition to getting your degrees, you have created a culture of success here. Gateway is a national award winner in programs like their business, manufacturing, automotive, marketing, and information technology, just to name a few. You've also fostered community connections. This year alone, Gateway students and faculty and staff have accumulated over 10,000 volunteer hours in Southeast Wisconsin. 10,000. Congratulate yourselves. You did it through your service organizations, celebrating Earth Day, and mentoring, and helping out in projects around this area. So what's next? You're gonna go forward, you're going to have a lot of fun tonight, I think. Uh, but then you're going to get to work. You're going to deliver skills and talent that this community needs. Gateway consistently maintains a very strong placement rate. And that's a reflection of the fact that employers recognize you've learned and you've earned skills and knowledge that they need to be successful. You're going to be the difference for Southeast Wisconsin. You're going to be the difference for the state of Wisconsin because you're our future and I know you're gonna deliver. For that reason, it uh, is not, it can't be more appropriate really to have an employer uh, partner with you and with us and be your commencement speaker tonight. I'm really looking forward to hearing from you, Mr. Neil Hawkins, and I know that the graduates are too. I hope that you all enjoy tonight, tomorrow, celebrate with your families, your friends, feel really, really terrific about what you've accomplished and go make a great future for all of us. Thank you. And now please join me in welcoming Gary Olson, Gateway Board Chairperson, to introduce our commencement speaker. Good evening, everyone. Our speaker this evening is Jim Hawkins. Mr. Hawkins is the CEO and owner of Kennel Manufacturing, Kennel is a global leader in the LED lighting industry. Jim began his career as a teenager alongside his father, Ken Hawkins, who established the company in 1963. 
Jim started full-time in 1973 and gained direct experience working in shipping, purchasing, material control, and operations. He became the vice president in 1977 and progressively promoted to the position of president in 1983. Jim has had sole ownership of the company since 1986 and has broadened the company's mission by growing from one to seven specialty markets. Jim holds multiple patents and is committed to ensuring that the kennel culture continues to value integrity with the mission of doing the right thing. Jim graduated from Harvard College and was an All-American recognized athlete in high school and swam in the NCAA competition. He's a member of many associations, including the Illuminating Engineer Society, the National Association of Manufacturers, the Milwaukee Seven Executive Council, and Society of Manufacturing Engineers. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Jim Hawkins. Well, thank you very much for that nice introduction, Gary. Um, Gary mentioned that I'm in the lighting business, so I'm here to enlighten you. <laughs> I want to uh, welcome students, also the parents and friends and other family members to this uh, ceremony. It's a really special honor for me to stand in front of you here and, and talk with you. I almost feel like I'm talking with my son who's sitting in the first row there, Drew Hawkins. <laughs> you know, I've accomplished uh, quite a bit in my career, and uh, you will accomplish quite a bit in your lives as well. Um, there's some, been some very good achievements, some great achievements, I might say, and I'm very proud of those. But having the opportunity to speak in front of you tonight is a moment that I'll always cherish. I want to uh, thank Dr. Albrecht and the Gateway College community for giving me this extraordinary opportunity to speak with you. I've been looking at some commencement speeches. They typically talk about reflecting on your education and the world around us, and they also look forward to where we're going and where you're going to go. I'm going to try to do a little bit of that tonight with the utmost of sincerity and humility. My son's a musician, and I love to listen to music, too. It, if you could ask Drew, you'd say, he'd say, music is playing at our house all the time. But I always love to listen to the lyrics as well, and I look up the lyrics, because sometimes there's a story behind these songs, and sometimes even the worst song has a really good story. I'm reminded of a great rock and roll singer by the name of Rod Stewart. Some of you in my generation may remember him. But he wrote and sang a song called Every Picture Tells a Story, Don't It. Now, those of you who have studied English at the college know that's not the way to say that, but it wouldn't sound the same if you, say, if you said, every picture tells a story, does it not? <laughs> I'm looking out here at a, a magnificent picture. This is a picture that also tells a story, to use the words of the late uh, George Bush Sr., it's like a thousand points of light. And you are a light. Everyone is a glowing light, and you all have a future. I stand in admiration of this moment, a moment that you've worked hard for and dedicated yourself to. Uh, it's a very special moment for you and for all of us that are here. It's a proud moment. Your family appreciates what you've done your college appreciates what you've done, and your community appreciates you, what you've done. So, the good thing about public speaking is that you get to talk about anything you want to talk about, and I love talking about myself. <laughs> I graduated in college in a very tumultuous time, a time of change, but a time of great hope. Um, those of you who were around at that time, you heard John Kennedy say, ask what you can do for your country. You, asked, you heard Lyndon Baines Johnson visualize this great society. And then you heard Dick Nixon, AKA Tricky Dicky, say, peace with honor, okay? Now, 
you can all argue the results of those initiatives, but the thing about it was in that area there was hope. And when we went to school, we had great hope. We had hope that we could do something to change this world. Individually or collectively, we could change the world. Now, having, having lived through my life, I realize that the world has probably changed me a lot more than I have impacted it. But everybody that lives their life has an opportunity to make a difference. Now, I'm sure your main motivation in attending Gateway was not to change the world. I'm sure that you looked at this opportunity as a place to get an education and enhance your, your ability to have a career, maybe raise a family, but to have a good life. I don't even think that your motivation was the opportunity to hear me speak at this commencement. <laughs> but this hard work and effort has made you very strong. From the time that you began your education to this time right now, you are a much different person. You're a much stronger person. You're a knowledgeable person. You're equipped. So your strong presence in this world today is changing the world. It's changing your friends, and it's changing everything around you. It's not really easy to see, but believe me, it's real. So I stand before almost 400 graduates. In a couple hours, you're going to get a, in a, in a little bit of time, not that long, you're going to get your diploma. <laughs> We're not going to make you wait that long. I understand you have an agenda, too. But we've all, you've had this opportunity now uh, to take part in this human endeavor and to be present in this material space that we live in. You've taken the opportunity to educate yourself. And whether you're graduating in healthcare, manufacturing, business, or public service, you've worked hard and you're going to make a difference. But think about the combined energies that are in this room. There's 400 of you. Now when you take that combined energy, that's very powerful. I know you'll make a difference. You'll make a difference in everything that is being done in Southeast Wisconsin or wherever you end up. Some of you are gonna end up being very exceptional leaders. Don't feel like you have to. You can lead in a lot of ways. I know that each and every one of you from your position of knowledge and competency will be a great leader. And now you've heard what my main topic is going to be. This is the theme of what I'm gonna be talking to you about, and that's leadership. Now leadership takes many forms, and it's not always obvious what leadership is. It's easy to identify a leader. They usually have a robe on, or they have a, a uniform on, or the, they're the quarterback of their football team. But leadership takes very different forms. I want to tell you a little bit about my life and what I've seen and what I've learned about leadership and what some of the basic things about leadership mean to me. So here's what I'm going to talk about, and then I'm going to talk about it. I want you to be thinking about doing the right thing. Be courageous. Simple, right? Have a healthy sense of skepticism. Accept failure. One of the most important things. Be accountable for what you do. Put yourself in the right place as far as materiality is concerned. Be careful who you are, you are with and who you spend time with. Influence is a very powerful thing. And finally, and not, not the least, is you must find a way to respect yourself. Self-respect is the very basis for leadership. So let's talk about doing the right thing. When I grew up, my father always said, do the right thing, Jim. And that's the way he lived his life. Now, I thought doing the right thing was not getting caught. But I learned that that isn't the right thing. Now, the parents sitting here, I'm sure Every day that your kids woke up, you tried to teach them to do the right thing. You tried to teach them right from wrong. And I think growing up, I think you all know what's right and wrong. We know when we're doing right things, and we know when we're doing wrong things. Just want to remind you to always do the right thing. It's not easy to do the right thing. I'll do the right thing, sure, that's easy, I'll do it. No, well, what happens if the right thing doesn't give you something? What happens if it takes something away from you? What happens if doing the right thing doesn't make any difference to anybody except you? It's not as easy as it seems. 
But if you believe and you're not afraid to stand up, you will be doing the right thing and you will be changing things. You will make a difference in this world. Now, it sounds simple, like simple things sounding, it's not. I want you to be courageous. I'm courageous. You know, I'm not afraid of anybody. I can handle myself. You know. Well, in my life, I've seen great, great acts of courage and heroism. All you have to do is look at our military, putting their lives on the line for each of us for our freedoms. Uh, one of the great leaders of our time, Martin Luther King, he put his life on the line for what he believed in. He knew he was going to die. Great courage, incredible courage. But you don't have to be Martin Luther King, and you don't have to lose your life to express current courage. Courage can be found in the simplest things. You will see things that aren't right. I want you to stand with other people when you see things aren't right. Don't leave them alone and isolated. If you do, you may put yourself at risk, but you're going to leave that situation with great strength and pride. My son from school came home one day, this was in high school, and said, Dad, I, um, it's a terrible thing that happened in class. And I said, what was that? He said, well, you know this math instructor, this guy, he's a jerk. I said, yeah, I know. So what happened? Well, there was this young lady sitting in the back row, and she's really nervous. She can hardly talk normally, and he was just really belittling her because she wasn't speaking up. So I said, what did you do? He said, what could I do? If I would have done anything, I, I could have been suspended. But just think about it. If he did get up and say something to this insensitive person, I don't think he'd be standing alone for very long. And when it came time for judgment, I don't think anyone would have judged him negatively or unfairly for what he did. That's just one example. See, it's not a big thing. It's a very small thing. It happens to us every day. You can do that. I'm sure you see it all the time. We see friends. We see friends going the wrong way. We see friends going the wrong direction. We see friends using, abusing alcohol and drugs. We see friends abusing relationships that they have. Well, we don't want to say anything because we don't want people not to like us and we don't want to be confrontational, especially to, with people that aren't doing the right things because they tend to be the most intimidating. It isolates you, it makes you more vulnerable. But remember, make your voice heard. Stop what's going on. Make, be a part of the change, and that's showing real le leadership. Be present and show up. All right, well, let's talk, about, let's talk about reading and newspaper and what you hear. We all hear things. We hear from the neighbor who's doing this, and we hear in the newspapers what's going on there, and we hear in the journals that this is the way that everything is done. Well, every picture tells a story, but there's two sides to every story. It's easy to take a side, it's easy to cast judgment, but don't, don't believe in everything that's read or, or being said. The truth can be trivialized, disguised, or misrepresented. Sometimes we're re reluctant to question, especially when it's a strong voice that's on the other end of delivering that message. And always consider the source. If this person is not credible or doesn't have the experience or the knowledge to be able to be talking about these things, make sure you know who that is before you start believing, putting too much credence in what they're saying. All right, this is one of my favorites, failure. I'm the type of person who doesn't like to fail. And all my life I've done, worked very hard not to fail. And I've always been an achiever and, a, and get to the top of most anything that I want to do. But my greatest growth and my greatest um, development was after I learned that it's okay to fail. Because if you're not failing, you're not trying things. If you're not failing, you're not growing. Times of failure and the greatest despair are the times of your greatest opportunity for growth and change. Again, I like music. So I'm going to quote you some verse from um, a very famous singer by the name of Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. He's saying, I've been up and down and over and out, and I know one thing. Each time I find myself flat on my face, I pick myself up and get back in the race. That's life. I tell you, I can't deny it. 
I thought of quitting, baby, but my heart just ain't going to buy it. So don't quit. Learn from your mistakes. Get back in that race. And finally, if you didn't like Frank Sinatra, you might like Winston Churchill. He had one simple piece of advice during England's darkest days. He says, when you're going through hell, keep going. So let's talk about accountability now. That's one thing we don't like. We don't like picking up socks, doing the laundry, showing up for work on time. I mean, that's hard, hard work. But always take responsibility for your actions. And if you didn't do something, admit it to yourself. First to yourself. You don't have to admit it to anybody else, but admit it to yourself. If you can't admit to yourself that you've done something wrong or, or failed in some way, you'll never learn. If you re refuse to see your mistakes, you're going to continue making them. And it's really sad. It's the saddest thing that you'll ever see in life is when you see people that can't accept blame or responsibility because they will never change. And they're condemned to, be, to being the same person throughout their entire life and never knowing the difference. They'll never see what can make them happy and satisfied. Materiality, Ferraris, houses, big bank accounts, diamond rings. It's all cool stuff. We're living in a material world, as the song goes. But don't become obsessed with materiality. I know it's not a bad thing. If you're successful, why not enjoy some of the results and the fruits of your labor? But my father said something to me. He said, money and possessions are only important if you don't have them. And at the end of the day, you're not taking them with you. They may be your reflections of what you've done in your life and your success, but in the end, it's not your possessions. It's who you are and what you have given and how much you are loved. Those are the important things, and you're going to find out that those are the important things as you move through your lives. Influencing others. Now, all the things I've talked to you before, when you do those things, you're going to influence others. But I want you to surround yourself with people that are honest, positive, and expect the best. Not everybody's like that. And you, just as you are what you eat, you become who you hang out with. So find people that, that can inspire you and help you and not take you down. Avoid those promising easy gains, shortcuts, and flattery. What is too good to be true it usually is. In fact, it always is. Always practice healthy skepticism. One of my favorites, self-respect. Again, I have self-respect. You have self-respect. Everyone has. I respect myself. I get up in the morning. I like what I'm doing. You know, I'm here. I did my education. I, I have self-respect. But let's look and examine self-respect self a little bit more closely. Self-respect is taking care of your needs, not taking care of anybody else's needs. It's recognizing who you are and taking care of your needs. You need to recognize yourself, just like you would recognize anybody else, and take care of yourself. Take care of yourself with as much enthusiasm as you take care of other people. You know, you won't get any respect unless you're present and accounted for. Um, and some of us spend our whole lives pleasing others. And when you spend the life, your lives ignoring yourself and pleasing others, you know what you are, you're a mirror. No one ever sees you, no one ever has to deal with you, and you don't change anything. And quite frankly, people don't want to be around you because you're pretty boring. There, there's no one home. You're knocking on the door, but no one's home. So exist, step up. Take care of yourself and express yourself. You're probably wondering, when's this guy going to stop? But <laughs> I am ready to stop. I'm going to close up here. I... <laughs> you hurt me. <laughs> As I told you, I am moved by song and lyrics. So I'm gonna give you one piece of, actually, I'm not gonna do it, I'll make it easy for myself and I'm gonna let Rod Stewart give it to you. And the song, every picture tells a thousand, every, every, every picture tells a every picture tells a story, excuse me. If I can give you some advice to help you down the road, I couldn't quote you no Dickens, Shelley, or Keats, cause it's all been said before. Just make the best out of the bad. Just laugh it off, ha! You didn't have to come here anyway. 
So remember, every picture tells a story, don't it? So with that and in closing, I just want to say again how honored I am to have the privilege of saying a few words to you in the special moment for you and your families. I want you to remember, with the acceptance of this diploma, you have achieved something that can never be taken away from you. You have knowledge and confidence to move forward with your lives. Make your story special. So as I close, let me congratulate you and wish you and your families only the best going forward. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. I just want everyone to recognize for a moment that uh, he, he indicated that each of you in here are a point of light, something that's going to shine as a great beacon for you, your families, and our community. And I think, Jim, with this message tonight was a beacon of light for all of us. You are one of those shining points of our commencement ceremony this evening. So thank you very much for being with us. You know, speaking of uh, special people with special messages, we have a tradition here at Gateway Technical College of having a student address. And tonight, I am very proud and pleased to introduce Vicki Zerbo. She's graduating tonight from the CNC Production Technician Program in Elkhorn. She is a natural born leader with a very passionate about the CNC machining industry. Vicki often takes the lead role in helping others and is always engaged in her studies. She is an Elkhorn Campus Star Ambassador, involved in the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and the Provost Honor Program here at Gateway Technical College. Vicki has volunteered at many campus activities as well as many community organizations. Please join me in welcoming your fellow student, Vicki Zerbo. Good evening. It is an honor that I was given the opportunity to speak in front of all of you tonight. I would like to extend my personal congratulations to the class of 2016. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. Whether you are off to employment endeavors or additional educational opportunities, Gateway College has, certain, has certainly left us with a lasting imprint. The Gateway staff deans, instructors, family and friends have pushed us beyond our comfort zones, shared their personal experiences, and taught us not just a curriculum, but valuable life skills. For some of us, this may be our second chance to be on the correct career path and Gateway is the catalyst to make a wrong right. This is what Gateway is for me, as it may be for some of you, and yet for others, it may be your first and only college experience. We as graduates can all agree that our instructors have been our greatest support system, sometimes even our own personal cheerleaders. Throughout our educational time here at Gateway, they have learned the most about us. Teaching us, watching us overcome personal, professional, and educational struggles, whether it be an illness, children, or asking for additional help with homework. This statement reminds me of a quote written by Orson Martin. Success is not measured by what you accomplish, but by the opposition you have encountered and the courage which you have maintained the struggle against overwhelming odds. We are so thankful to have our family and friends here to celebrate with us as graduates this evening. Hard work, dedication, hours of studying for midterms and finals, sometimes through tears and frustrations, you were there for us. Sacrificing, making our education a priority to our family, friends, guests that have supported us and sacrificed for us, we extend a heartfelt thank you. Furthermore, without community and employer support as students, we would not have access to the technology or equipment to give us hands-on experience required to be successful in our careers. For example, very recently, the RPM lab at the Elkhorn campus received recognition for, excuse me, received recognition for the RPM lab that was funded by Mark Reeder and the employees of Precision Plus. 
It's because of these opportunities we are here today. Without community and employer support, we would not have received the well-rounded education that we all have attained. I, as your student speaker, would like to leave you with these last few words, Gateway Class of 2016. Graduation is a time to celebrate your achievements, prepare for a future of opportunities, and embrace a world of infinite possibilities. Well done. Thank you, Vicki. Ladies and gentlemen, now please welcome Zena Haywood, Executive Vice President and Provost. Thank you, AJ. Good evening, graduates, family, and friends. Each year, the Gateway alumni select a person that exemplifies the highest level of career success and community leadership. Assisting with the presentation of the 2016 Gateway Technical College Alumni Association Distinguished Alumni Award is Celeste Hinken, Gateway Foundation and Alumni Relations Coordinator. Ms. Hinken, please come forward. Our recipient this year is John Keel. John is a 1982 graduate of the Fire Science Technician Program. He is currently practicing law at the law office of John B. Keel. John is so proud to have started his lifelong learning at Gateway and was honored to be selected. John has achieved professional distinction and has brought honor and pride to Gateway through his career, service, and community achievement, achievements. Mr. Keel, will you please step forward? Please join me in congratulating John Keel. At this time, with those individuals in the audience who are past year's distinguished alumni recipients and members of the Gateway Foundation Board, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce our special honors graduates. Graduates who are members of the National Honor Fraternity Phi Theta Kappa are wearing gold tassels. Graduates with gold honor cords have achieved the President's Honor Award for Scholastic Achievement with a grade point average of 3.9 to 4.0 in their program requirements. Graduates wearing white honor cords have achieved the honor award for achieving a grade point average of 3.75 to 3.89 in their program requirements. Will all three groups of honor graduates please stand and be recognized for your outstanding academic performance. Thank you, you may be seated. In addition, Gateway Technical College has a focus on the skills that graduates need in a global society. Our Gateway Global Scholars Program provides an international education experience. This year, our global scholars participated in cultural and, cult and curricular study abroad experiences in Belize, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Germany, Italy, Iceland, and Peru. Gateway's graduating global scholars are recognized tonight by their Gateway Global Scholars stoles. Will the Gateway Global Scholars please stand to be recognized? Thank you, you may be seated. We would also like to recognize the students who are members of the National Society of Leadership and Success, or Sigma Alpha Pi, which is a worldwide organization for achievement and leadership education. 
Members are invited to participate and must complete a rigorous training program which focuses on exploring one's challenges, recognizing one's strengths, and setting up a personal plan to move forward. With the graduates who are members of Sigma Alpha Pi, please stand to be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. One more group, I just love my job. We are so proud to recognize another group of graduates who have demonstrated through service the importance of respecting and valuing the environment or being civically engaged. Gateway's Green Scholars have demonstrated their personal and professional commitment to building a more sustainable community through actively participating in community and college environmental sustainability events. Gateway Service Scholars have actively engaged in over 50 hours of service, service learning locally or internationally. Green and Service Scholars are wearing a pin to symbolize their accomplishments. Please join me in congratulating our Green and Service Scholars. Thank you, you may be seated. Last but certainly not least, we would like to recognize our graduates who have the distinction of serving our country in the United States Armed Forces. Will the graduates wearing red, white, and blue honor corps please stand and be recognized for your distinguished service. Thank you, you may be seated. Congratulations to all of our special honors graduates. Thank you, Zena. And I would say a tip of the cap to all of our scholar graduates out there. Tremendous amount of effort and you deserve all of our respect and appreciation. I just want to take a quick shout out to all of the inspirational students that helped me on my journey to Nicaragua. You were remarkable in the work that you provided and I learned so much from you on that trip. So congratulations to all our global scholars, but especially our great team from Nicaragua. So thank you. So I have a favor to ask. When President Mornafoy said she wanted this to be a nice, loud, energized group, this would be your time. Because now it's time to confer the degrees. On behalf of the Wisconsin Technical College System and Gateway's Board of Trustees, I acknowledge the graduates for diploma and degrees. Will the division representatives please present their candidates for degree? We will do our best to make sure we pronounce your names properly. <laughs> if, for whatever reason, that does not happen, please correct us. This is your moment, and you deserve it to be perfect. So please let us know if we get anything wrong, okay? Will the Allied Health Division please stand? I, Tracy Gotts, representing the Allied Health faculty, present the candidates for degrees and diplomas in the Allied Health Occupations Divisions. Will the candidates please come forward? First presenting the candidates for the Technical Diploma Community Pharmacy Technician, Nancy M. Dampier. Presenting the candidates for the Technical Diploma Dental Assistant, Sydney M. Bebo. Kayla R. Daly. Amanda L. Fredrickson. Madeline A. Carl. Lindsay R. Miller.
Leah N. Nelson. Emildo Rodarte Regoza. Barbara E. Seaton. A. Seaton. Haley M. Stella. Emily M. Van Scoy. Krista M. Van Scoy. Now presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science Degree Health Information Technology, Kathleen R. Clark. Joanne L. Donaski. Rebecca L. Justman. Markham. Alicia L. Markham. Irene A. Martinez. Cheryl A. Morgia. Wendy L. Nault. Barbara L. Pollock. Elizabeth N. Sheen. Rachel L. Weiss. Now presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science Degree Health Unit Coordinator, Erica Arroyo. Johnny L. Baldwin. Faith E. Berry. Yvette B. Espidus. Roxana T. Flores. Fabiola Guzman. Nelian B. Kothlo. Maria D. Lopez. Catherine L. Robertson. Dominique N. Robertson. Amy J. Shannon. Tracy Y. Williams Dixon. Jennifer E. Anthony. Judy Dorval. Melissa S. Frederick. Komika L. Glass. Graciela I. Gonzalez. Shanina A. Johnson. Hello. 
Lori Kackelmeyer. Michelle M. Kanos. Abigail J. Coster. Rosemary E. Medina. Joshua C. Parson. Raythea V. Pfeiffer. Melissa R. Rios. Abigail L. Ward. Now presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Physical Therapist Assistant, Joy J. Alderman. Sina Z. Douglas. Natalie H. Hallberg. Virginia A. Hicks. Amber R. Johnson. Patricia R. King. Joseph M. Lidister. Lauren E. Loback. Brent L. Lukemeyer. Beth J. Nowakowski. Lori A. Pettit. No, sir. Scott L. Street. Hey. Wilds. Tina M. Wilds. Now presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Surgical Technology, Jennifer L. Bayer. <laughs> Tabitha D. Hanneman. <laughs> Christine A. Lyle. Kaylee N. Gwen. Stannis? Kathleen A. Stannis. <laughs> okay. Kialara S. Schweigert Ashour. <laughs> Trent L. Vukodinovich. And Jennifer N. Wiederzak. Will the Business and Information Technology Division please stand? Cheryl Euchre, representing the Business and Information Technology faculty, present the candidates for degrees and diplomas in the Business and Information Technology division. Will the candidates please come forward?
look at you. Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree accounting. What's your name again? Oh, Sandy J. Beck. Doris E. Collins. Condor? Cynthia L. Condor. Brianna L. Kincaid. Pamela L. Klitsky. Sharon A. McCool. Karina Morales. Teresa M. Raworth. Tisha N. Thompson. Is it Vorpagel? Vorpagel. Jesse L. Vorpagel. Now presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Administrative Professional, Danielle R. Arrigo. Good save. Taylor J. Blair. You have both your shoes? You good? Okay. Oh. Cabrera? Floor K. Cabrera. Samantha de la Otoire. <laughs> Carla M. Gorton. Lomax? Karina yeah. M. Lomax. Letitia E. Louderback. Taylor E. McNaughton. Is it Demi? Demi A. Nelson, who's also graduating with the Technical Diploma of Office Assistant. Felicia A. Nitch. Brittany A. Reading. Morgan R. Shepard. Ashley J. Utter. Erica Valadez. Thank you. Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Business Management, Leanne L. Allison. Arizona? Christine M. Arizola, who is also graduating with a technical diploma in small business entrepreneurship. Rebecca M. Balms. Alexander S. Bellotti. That's fine. Lindsay R. Brisky. Denori Bry the second. 
No, sir. Robert J. Birchfield. Anna R. Bustos. Cameron T. Cochran. Barry E. Cope. Kathleen A. Damashki. Kayla A. Decker. Taylor B. Freeman. Elena R. Garcia. Deanna N. Gibson. Nicole M. Gilbreth. Emily N. Golan. Oh, sir. Graf. Adam M. Graf. Corinne L. Gridanis. Mary J. Vizdok. Sony Marie Arizari. Yvette Jaimez. Dominique D. King. John D. Lambert. Maria L. Lira. Abriana M. Loomis. Ariel S. Martin. Milosevic. Natasha Milosevic. Dakota A. Niels. Natalie C. Nunn. Aliyah H. Onachinsky. Christopher E. Pavelsek. Greg A. Pittner. Nathaniel V. Pringle. Raquel Reyes. Nicholas L. Ruffalo. Tina M. Scholzen. Corey A. Small, who is also graduating from our supervisory management program as well. Alexander W. Walter. Okay, we get it right. Xenia? Yep. 
Xenia A. Watts. Robin E. Widmar. Sunraya R. Winter. Tabitha L. Zoki. Now presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Graphic Communications, Amanda A. Arntz. April M. Belmore. Brittany A. Chicola. Damon H. Eaton. Dionisio Gonzalez III. Dwayne L. Hadley. Claire Colley. Amy M. Kleinhans. Lourdes Leon. James P. Murray. Mark J. Sebastian, Jr. Brittany M. Taylor. Marissa K. Tomic. Catherine E. Winky. Now presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Information Technology Web Developer Administrator, Nicole E. Verbeck. Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Information Technology SharePoint Developer, Maria L. Matthews, who is also graduating from the Junior SharePoint Developer Technical Diploma Program. Oh, sir. Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Information Technology Network Specialist, Aaron A. Andrews. Look at you. <laughs> you got to follow that, Eric? Yeah. <laughs> Eric A. Barta, who's also graduating from our Junior SharePoint Developer Program. Christian Alvarez. Brandon Christensen, who is also graduating from Security Analyst. Kobe T. Corbett. Glenn T. Lott. Edwin Rios, who is also graduating in Security Analyst. Now presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Information Technology Software Developer, Linnell C. Constantine. Mitchell W. Kijek.
William M. Stevens. Jeffrey C. Zeman. Is it Kate Hammer? I'm sorry. Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Information Technology Computer Support Specialist, Valerie L. Kathemer. Alexander E. Cummings. Gage P. Akins. Jonathan R. Pischke. David Prill, Jr. Peter J. Schrader. Debbie Vandenboom. Tight. Michael C. Arroyo. Noah J. Meyer. Now presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Marketing Business to Business, Ashley N. Hale. Matthew T. Holkoff. Angelina Zembruski. Angelina M. Zembruski. Thank you. Now presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Marketing General, Laura M. Thompson. And presenting the candidates for the Technical Diploma Office Assistant, Juana A. Luna. Linnea? Linnea S. Waller. Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Professional Communications, Lexi E. Cantu. Presenting now the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Information Technology Security Analyst, Martin E. Hargrove. Ryan D. Laair. Elizabeth N. McClary. Sid C. Pinabella. Is it Dominica? Dominica? Presenting the candidates for the Technical Diploma Small Business Entrepreneurship, Dominico Y. Gonzalez. Denisha? Denisha L. Jordan. Bridget M. Walker. <laughs> Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Supervisory Management, Sherry L. Arnold. <laughs> Ricardo L. Hernandez. Sophia G. McKeon. <laughs> Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Technical Communications, Billy J. Asp. That's 
Marquette S. Poor. Will the Manufacturing, Engineering, and Transportation Division please stand? I, Rita Serpe, representing the Manufacturing, Engineering, and Transportation faculty, present the candidates for degrees and diplomas in the Manufacturing, Engineering, and Transportation division. Will the candidates please come forward? Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Aeronautics Pilot Training, Brent Lang. <laughs> now presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Air Conditioning, Heating, and Refrigeration Technology, Gary S. Grogan. Michael D. Martinez. <laughs> Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Architectural Structural Engineering Technician, Jacob N. Barnard. Jacqueline, Jacqueline. Jacqueline A. Miller. Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Automated Manufacturing Systems Technician, Timothy M. I'm sorry, Timothy A. Freming, who is also graduating from Electromechanical Technology. <laughs> Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Automotive Technology, Keith Gerlot. Angel D. Leon. William B. Pettit. Fidel Rodriguez, who is also graduating from our Automotive Maintenance Technician Technical Diploma. Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Biomedical Engineering Technology, Anthony Camacho, who is also graduating from Electrical Engineering Technology and Electronics. <laughs> Matthew S. Dunham. Presenting the candidates for the Technical Diploma CNC Production Technician, Martin J. Danzer. <laughs> Peter J. Porneris. <laughs> Vicki M. Zerbel. Now presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Civil Engineering Technology, Freshwater Resources, Jennifer M. Rizek, who is also graduating from our Civil Engineering Technology Highway Technology program. Joel W. Roberson. Oh, 
Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Diesel Equipment Technology, Key, I'm sorry, Kevin P. Black. Mitchell A. Funk. Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Electrical Engineering Technology, Gilberto, Gilberto Cervantes Maldonado, Jr., who is also graduating from our Biomedical Engineering Technology program. Oh. Alexandria M. Harris Uloa. Zaida J. Hernandez Irison, who is also graduating from biomedical engineering. Cassandra K. Humphrey. Eric M. Kickhaver. Nicholas J. Purse. Joshua A. Thompson, who is also graduating from electronics and biomedical engineering technology. Thank you. Jason K. Werner. Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Electromechanical Technology, Julie A. Parker. <laughs> Presenting the candidate for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Electronics, Christopher J. Arbor. Presenting the candidates for the Technical Diploma, Facilities Maintenance, Adam Garcia. LaShawn L. Stevens. Michael L. Summers. Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Horticulture, Greenhouse, and Marketing, Wendy D. Newhouse, who is also graduating from our Nursery and Landscaping program. <laughs> Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Horticulture, Greenhouse, and Floral, Adavi Eureka. Heather M. Rupp, who is also graduating from Greenhouse and Floral. And Landscape. David B. Schwartz, also doing Greenhouse and Floral and Nursery and Landscaping. Jennifer L. U., Greenhouse and Floral and Nursery and Landscaping. Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Horticulture, Nursery, and Landscaping, Stephanie R. Cannon. Is it Feltham? Ruth M. Feltham. <laughs> Stephanie M. Putnam, who's also graduating from Greenhouse and Floral. Heather D. Rainier. Is it Rivard? Michelle R. Rivard. <laughs> now presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Industrial Mechanical Technician, Kyle C. Abbott.
Now presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Interior Design, Lisa A. Dam. Is it Lane? Jessica L. Lane. Hey, Peter. Good job, Peter. Is it Wang or Wang? That's what I thought. Peter J. Wang. Zimpanti? Jeanette A. Zimpanti. Now presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Mechanical Design Technology, Mechanical Engineering Technology, Russell J. Murphy. Now presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Mechanical Design Technology, Mechatronics, Thomas C. Wagner, who is also graduating from Mechanical Design Engineering Tech. Wow, show off. Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Sustainable Energy Systems, hang on, and Electronics, and Biomedical Engineering Technology, big shot, this is Jason M. Kent. Is it Perone? Perone. Dominique Perone, Jr. Presenting the candidates for the Technical Diploma Advanced Welding, Joseph C. Balderas. Buda. Joshua Buda, who is also graduating from Welding, Maintenance, and Fabrication. Gregory S. Mead II for advanced welding and maintenance and fabrication welding. Cole E. Vosh, advanced welding and pipe welding. Andrea J. Woods. Kyle S. Savekis, Advanced Welding and Pipe Welding. <laughs> Presenting the candidates for the Technical Diploma Welding, Maintenance and Fabrication, Tyler L. Cruz. <laughs> yes, sir. Peter J. Sapota for Maintenance and Fabrication, Advanced Welding, Pipe Welding and Robotics Welding. Cody? Stephen J. Wurkudi. Will the nursing division please stand? I, Susan Willing, representing the nursing faculty, present the candidates for degrees and diplomas in the nursing division. Will the candidates please come forward? Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree Nursing, William P. Anderson. Is it Bailey? Nikki Bailey. Joel Baxter Mueller. 
Joel M. Bextermuller. Nicole L. Brooke. Nikea M. Coburn. <laughs> Stephanie A. Kronk. Is it Deanna? Deanna? Deanna C. Davis. Hi. Nicole M. Denny. Kimberly Diamante. Hi. Fears. Catherine M. Fears. Yolanda N. George. Is it good enough? Samantha L. Goodenough. Jessica L. Hoppy. <laughs> Heather L. Jennings. <laughs> Maya N. Jordan. <laughs> Maria J. Puente. Ariana R. Ramirez. Angelica Reyes. Quinn L. Rishkis. Kayla T. Shortis. Deanna W. Smith. Is it Thrams? Thrams. Donna J. Thrams. Will the Service Occupations Division please stand? I, Sue Nelson, representing the Service Occupations faculty, present the candidates for degrees and diplomas in the Service Occupations Division. Will the candidates please come forward? Presenting the candidates for the Technical Diploma Barber Technologist, Roberto L. Pagan. Yes, sir. A.J. Sanders. Presenting the candidates for the Technical Diploma Cosmetology, Maria D. Fernandez. Jodeci? Jodeci R. Wells. That's okay. 
Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Criminal Justice Law Enforcement, Johnny D. Bankhead Galloway IV. Barrios? Nicholas L. Barrios. Nice. Willie G. Blaine. Julia A. Balma. Brianna M. Brantley. Maquel L. Brown. Rose Cardenas. Marina A. Carranza. Timothy B. Clement, Jr. P. I. Hermania Crespo. Herminia Crespo. Jonah A. Isel. Jennifer L. Fazari. Olivia Garcia. Katie J. Harris. Joshua M. Jackson. Michael R. Jones. Janine Raven Kelber. Hello, sir. Kalinowski. Nathan M. Kalinowski. Ashley A. Klemp. <laughs> Jessica L. Keen. Yes, Andrew J. Miller. Cassandra Mireles. Aliyah A. Munoz. <laughs> Joseph T. Pavelsek. Silver N. Platt. Aracelo Ramirez. Jessica B. Salgado. He asked for it. William of the Shire. We aim to please, folks. What can I tell you? Shanika M. Smith. Martha D. Valdez. Hey, hey, we're live on Facebook. Hey, Facebook. You know, Brian's trying to get a million tweets, so you should get that over to Brian. Is it Vassy? Yeah. Cynthia J. Vasey. Yeah. 
Leticia S. Watts. Brandy M. Welker. Aquilina L. Williams. Is it Albi? Albi? Okay. Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree Culinary Arts, Julie A. Albi. Anthony S. Dreifke. Christine N. Fandry. Hettenbach? Chelsea N. Hettenbach. Alyssa M. Kristashik. All right, sir. Jason D. Thomas. Pierre J. Tyson. Hello. Catherine L. Wade. Chiquita. Chiquita C. Walker. Now presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Early Childhood Education, Jennifer L. Davis. Siobhan C. Funk. Is it Cassie? Cassie Kramer. Amber L. Lepowski. Is it Ray? Emma K. Ray. Rothering? Sarah K. Rothering. Allison M. Smeester. Oh, thank God. Rebecca L. Weber. Brittany M. Willie. Now presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree Fire Protection, Fire Protection Technician, Leonora F. Miller. Now presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree Hotel Hospitality Management, Darlene Perkins. Presenting the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Human Services Associate, Jessica A. Ball. Laura M. Barron. Shantiera M. Butler. Vanessa G. Butler. <laughs> Popular gal. <laughs> Kayla J. Cataldo. Sermina? 
Taylor Sermonara. Is it Cosme? Marisol Cosme Hernandez. Christina J. Davis. Lewis Duncan Jr. Letitia Edgel. Letitia S. Edgel. Yes, sir. Thank you. Manuel Garcia. I... Glazer. Jamie L. Glazer. Shannon E. Goodman. <laughs> Tiffany L. Hansen. All right. Daryl D. Hawkins. Shoshana R. Herman. Danielle M. Hooten. Samantha R. Isbell. Thank you. Diana V. Johnson. Amber Johnston. Christy L. Marden. Candace C. Matt. Kaylin M. Morris. Samantha Olivares. Bernadette A. Palmer, also graduating with an AODA certificate. Xavier D. Ramsey. Range. Maria F. Range. Derek W. Say. Sonia M. Spencer. Lena Thomas. Stephanie R. Thomas. Corey E. Wack. Corey H. Wagner. Diane E. Webb. Hope M. Wesley Early. Presenting the candidate for the Associate of Applied Science degree Instructional Assistant, Elizabeth F. Bowers. Hello. 
and presenting the candidate for the Associate of Applied Science degree paramedic technician, Madeline L. Aguilar. <laughs> President Albrecht, all of the candidates have been introduced. Thank you, AJ. So, President Foy, watch this. Cynthia, do you still have that live feed going on Facebook? Hold it up really high. Everybody, there's a billion people listening. Let's let them know how proud we are of our graduates tonight. Woo! This has certainly been an exciting evening, and I admire your accomplishments and wish you great success in your future. Now, if all of the graduates will stand with me. On behalf of the State of Wisconsin and the Gateway Technical College Board of Trustees, I confer the appropriate recognition for your work at Gateway Technical College. You may now move your symbolic tassel on your mortarboard from the right to the left. Congratulations, graduates! I, Robert Formanek, hereby close the commencement exercises for Gateway Technical College. Hold on. Graduates, please remain standing for the recessional. Guests, please remain seated until the completion of the recessional. And just a reminder, following tonight's ceremony, graduates, guests, and staff are invited to the President's Reception located at UW Parkside's main place, which is located just north of this building. Thank you all very, very much for joining us, and good night.